All right, if you're heading down to the uh, Pacers game tonight, remember the uh, team is back in action after the All-Star break. Uh, they won three in a row prior to the All-Star break. They'll play the Atlanta Hawks tonight. Tip-off is at 7 o'clock. Pacers currently in good shape. They're fifth in the East, eight games above 500. Atlanta's not very good, so a chance for the uh, Pacers to continue the roll tonight. Awesome. What kind of weather will they have as they head inside? May have a spotty shower, okay. not really expecting much at all. Just cloudy and really mild. Okay. We'll take the mild temperatures yeah, we since we've had so much rain. And we do have that forecast for you here. If you are heading downtown Indianapolis tonight, temperatures will be around 50 degrees at tip-off. Overcast skies with a light breeze out of the north as you're heading out of the field house. Now, we do have flood warnings in effect across all of central Indiana. The counties that are outlined in green, these are aerial flood warnings, and they are in effect because we do expect to see some heavy rain. We're going to see rivers and streams continuing to recede in north central Indiana, but these flood warnings will continue for south central Indiana because we do expect to see heavy rain, possibly two to four inches of rain before it's all said and done early Sunday and the rivers will rise well into next week. So we have more moisture streaming into the Ohio River Valley, and this may creep up a little bit farther north and bring a spotty shower, but for the most part, it will be overcast and it's mild. Temperatures right now at 48 degrees in Lafayette, 54 in Bloomington, 50 degrees in Kokomo, and 58 in Connorsville. Now, downtown Indianapolis is overcast, a gloomy day, 54 degrees. Winds out of the west southwest at 17 miles per hour. So it is a bit breezy, but with those southerly breezes, it's keeping us mild right now. Now, notice Future Track tries to bring a spotty shower here in there into south central Indiana, but for the most part, we're tracking dry, cloudy, overcast conditions. Temperatures holding near steady in those mid 50s. As we get into the evening hours tonight, we stay dry, but it will be after midnight when we're going to start to see more rain moving in. This is at 3 a.m. Sunday or Saturday morning. We'll start to see this pushing in from southwest to northeast, and this will continue really through the morning hours. So you'll want to check back with Lindsay during sunrise as we'll see these showers continuing throughout the morning and maybe a break or two in the afternoon. I don't expect it to be a very long break, but a couple of hours possible before the next round moves in. So Saturday afternoon, we'll see some pockets of heavy rain. Temperatures will climb into those upper 40s and low 50s. Then we're watching out for a risk of severe weather. It does include south central Indiana. We have the risk of seeing possibly some damaging winds. So as we go into Saturday night, into early Sunday, that's when we're going to see the heavier rainfall moving in. You can see pockets of heavy rain along that I-70 corridor and points to the south. That's where we do expect to see that lining up to be the heavier rain and possibly those stronger storms late Saturday night into early Sunday morning. So I'll be here with you tracking these showers and storms. And then the good news is once this moves out, we're going to finally get a break from the rain and we'll see some dry weather and mild weather too. 55 degrees near steady temperatures this afternoon down to just 42 tomorrow morning. We climb to close to 60 degrees tomorrow afternoon. 52 dry and sunny finally on Sunday. And really we're going to take in some gorgeous weather on Monday. Highs in the low 50s. Best day of the week. Tuesday, highs in the low 60s, rain chances return Wednesday and Thursday.